Hello viewers, can I make Naruk? This is part four, where I provide the answer to this question. If you enjoy this video, please click that like button and subscribe. And if you want to know what is this moldy wheat cake, please watch the previous three episodes. Naruk is the special ingredient for makgeolli, delicious Korean rice wine, and it's time now to answer the question, can I make Naruk myself at home? And the answer is yes. So to prove this, I'm going to have to brew with it. And I'm going to follow my usual two-stage recipe, juke and godubap. So this is the juke, the rice flour porridge. And this is my homemade naruk that I want to test. Is it going to work? So I need to, I need a powder of this. Don't follow this method. It's not a very good method. I should have used a mortar and pestle or something. I just don't have it. This is slightly more than my usual amount of naruk, 110 grams instead of 90 grams. That's because I don't know how strong my naruk is. So I'm using a little extra just to be sure. And I'm adding yeast, because what I'm testing here is the enzyme part of the naruk. I'm not, I'm not testing the yeast part, so I'm adding, my own, I'm adding extra yeast. I just want to test the enzyme, amylase enzyme that converts starch to sugar. I want that to be happening. So I'm mixing that in here, and um, I want to give this the best chance to succeed. So I want to mix as much as possible when it be evenly distributed. I'm going to stir it three times a day for the first two days. And of course I'm worried, is this going to work? So is it fermenting right now? Use the match test. Match goes out, it is fermenting. So that's good. And again, I'm going to stir it well, give it the best chance to succeed. And on day two, it's time for go to bop. Steamed rice. This is just the usual recipe. We're going to steam this for 40 minutes. And uh, of course I have to add water every so often so I don't run out of water in the steamer. And when it's done, spread it out to cool to room temperature. And I'll add it to the first stage and mix it by hand. Again, I'm doing my best to mix it as evenly as possible without breaking the rice grains. And leave the lid a little open, put it in a cool dark place to ferment. Day three, it's softening a bit. So I wonder, is, it, is this working? Oh, the match still goes out, so something is fermenting. On day four, this looks pretty normal, actually. There's a separate layer at the bottom. That's good. And the match still goes out. So this is progressing. This actually looks pretty normal. So now I'm feeling a little better about the progress of this. And it's day six. Is the match going to go out today? Oh, almost, but not quite. Okay, so I could bottle... It at this point this would be early bottling but I'm going to wait a little longer as you can see um, it is still fermenting I listened to it. it it is still bubbling just not enough to put out the match 
and you can see more and more of the rice is falling down. Now it's uh, okay. Done for sure now. Mix it up one last time and we're going to strain it. I have to be patient here. This takes a while to get the liquid out of this and a lot of squeezing. I've been tasting it um, almost every day and it is a little, a little bitter but other than that it tastes pretty normal. This is um, the leftovers, the Lees she gave me and uh, not too much, 227 grams. Um, rice is broken down, so that's good. So some positive aspects to this fermentation. It seems to have gone pretty normally. Let's put it in the bottles. There it is. All right, so um, I tasted this. This It does have bitterness and uh, some weird sweetness in it, too. So it has... Um, Bitter initial taste and aftertaste with a lot of sweetness in the middle. Good thing is the brewing process was normal. Uh, didn't have much jigami. That means the fermentation was relatively complete. And the sweetness meant the enzyme work, the amylase enzyme, did work to convert the starch to sugar. Negative things are the bitterness. And the overall taste is not as good as if I used supermarket Naruk. It's not as good. So what can I do to improve next time? I could uh, control the temperature better when I'm making the Naruk, make sure I only grow the white mold, uh, maybe age the Naruk longer, and uh, powder the Naruk more evenly. Those are things I want to try next time to improve the Naruk and improve the brew. But wait, there's more. A week later, let's taste the Changju, the top layer after the sediment has settled to the bottom. Let's taste that. Although it's not perfectly clear, it's pretty good. It tastes a lot better. It's less weird. There's still some bitterness. I think it's more the normal kind of bitterness. That's, um, so I've had this, I've been tasting it every few days and it tastes best like this. The Changju, I'm going to save the Changju. That's going to be good. I'm happy to have been able to use my homemade Naruk to make a batch of makgeolli. That was my goal, and uh, I'm glad to see the final results. So uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>